to a good game of football. It's going to be Manning to get the game underway for that long. Shane O'Dogan wants to shut out in the, in the reverse picture. He's on the left and the ball. And keep your eyes on him. Long foot's lonely from the dog. He's on the team. He's uh, still out of the squad. He's going to get the game underway. And it's David Brooks now with possession inside his own half. A good ball up the line. And that's taken in by Manning. Yeah, and the big one yellow card away from the suspension, so he'd just have to be careful out there tonight. It is a derby game, you expect the tackles to be flying in, but just needs to be measured in what he does is uh, Delaney sends a wayward one up the field and that's out for the first run of the game. Town. Great to have you all listening in tonight on Between the Stripes Match Day Live. Drop us a message during the game, let us know where you're listening in from. Drop us any comments or questions you have. We'd be very happy to answer them indeed. Longford with the throw and it's going to be taken by Adam Evans. He was brilliant in that last game against UCD. Uh, Clapping back a lot. That's it. He's really had that jersey since he's broken into the squad. And we have John Breyer in the house at Lizzie Wallen tonight, the co host of the Twin Strike Semi Podcast. Great to see him here. We've all tuned in for the Roddy Collins special. I didn't know you were having to listen to it coming down the road at Legend in these parts, of course. I don't know why he'd make this game tonight, but at least they see with a slight clearance, but I'm straight back to Stacey and maybe to his games and he'll be looking for better this time. It goes a lot longer and that could be a good ball. He's got Evans chasing it, but it's headed away by the big man Delaney. Sam Burton wins the header. No, no excuses about the pitch tonight anyway. I'd see the, uh, the artificial surface here in that lawn, but probably flat playing surface. We've been putting the spring into rain during the day. So the ball should be zipping around him. Zipping around the front of us is Ato, and then he goes back to Dylan Hand. Not a great finish from Hand. Dean Zammer gets a touch. And uh, that won't have possession now. They go back again to Delaney, who's going to look direct here. There's a bit of space out on the right hand side, and it does go out to the right, but unfortunately that's over hit. It was aimed at Adam Lennon, but out for another longer throw. Just, just skipping off the surface when you know, compared to some of the uh, surfaces in the first division, I've always said you prefer a, a good astro to a bad grass pitch. No, not for you. George, and we've seen that in Brayfist, didn't we, where um, these Stacey had a kick blocked down by Gary Shaw and it resulted in a goal. That was almost a complete disaster for Longford's number one. Oh, oh, oh. Longford started this game very well. The reverse fixture, Longford uh, won it comfortably in the end, but yeah, that one were definitely on top for the first 15 or 20 minutes, and if they do create a few chances tonight, they're going to want to take their chances, because they didn't do that in Bishop's game earlier in the season. Elwood now with his first chance to break forward, and He's got Ron Manning outside on the pass, he's under hit or over hit by uh, Shane Elworthy, who had a brilliant game Monday night. He tells he was on the score sheet, but not his best pass of the season, and that runs out for an athlone throw. As I said, you can drop your comments in live during the game here, and we'll uh, read them out on air. If you'd like to answer any questions, that would be the one you have for us. And Longford again, a little sloppy in possession, but a crunching tackle from A. Darwin, just in front of the main stand here, and he won't give up oh, A. Darwin. He's all on Shea, and I have to say that looked a hard decision, but uh, already German nipping in there with a few big tackles. Yeah, there's Manning, he's drifting all over the place. He's uh, wearing the number one, but playing more of the fall sign. He's uh, a real playmaker on this Athlon team. Ball into the Longford area, he's clear away. Adam Evans with a lovely touch. Is George going to get across and give the goals? It's a good tackle from Delaney, excuse me, good tackle from the big man at the back. And Lowe looking to break down the wind now with Adam Lennon. Elward, uh, Evans sticking with him, but good footwork there from Lennon. He's looking for options now, he's got it. This is Tomalu. Uh, that's a good cross, but uh, too close to Lee Stacey. <laughs> Yeah, Longford just looked 
to uh, get the foot in the ball. That seems to be what they're doing. They're playing up in the back and they just want to set the pace down. Because we say, no excuses about the surface here. They're not the one to play a pass again. The pitch is there for them to do that. And PJ Durham has been heavily involved in the opening few minutes. He plays it up towards Sam. Edward, he, he wants to pick the tempo up now. Quick throw in from him in towards Rob Manley. But again, the Avalon defenders do well there to just shackle Manley. George, he's had a good start for the long, but again, Lee Durham not giving him any breathing and wins that ball for long. It's out down to the left-hand side with Joe Manley. He does like to step into midfield and he does it there to find Adam Evans over on the left. Evans cuts inside, good play from Evans. He's looking for options now. Right now, he's just drifted offside there. So Evans goes inside, poor ball, and there's that man again, Manning. And he tries to play it up the three of these days. He's the first of these days. He's coming to the the box and he can collect it now and restart play. You can see Longford, of course, do play with a high line at times, so that opportunity might be there for that long, but Longford actually shot him. Oh, now the Athlone man has looked up the field from number two to number two, Elworthy gets his head on it, and that's a strong clash against there between Zambra and uh, it was uh, Taylor Dogan in the field for Athlone. There goes on, he's Stacey again, almost has a kickoff. Oh, here is Taylor Dogan! Oh, that's a bit of a match, and Dogan's got four yards out. That's a second time in the first half of two minutes, and at least Stacey's had a kickoff down. Not happy with his goalkeeper. First time we've mentioned Dean Burns tonight. He blocks down an attempted clearance. He's got possession. There's a good ball inside. Not to space here for Sam Burden. Burden shoots. Oh, and it's just wide of the far post. We have the option of the line to Rob Manley, but a good effort there from Burden. He was on the score sheet against Houston. And he almost had his sixth goal of the season there. I always love that third on, it always sounds so fantastic. Greasy23 with a message, well lads, just tuned in, did I miss anything? He missed a good start from that loan, to be honest, they're um, pressing along for quite high, they've locked down a couple of kicks from the Stacey, and they've turned it over and they've tried to score from all the 40 yards with the out of his net. Um, that was the best chance so far for Atlone, but we've just had Longford's best chance there. Uh, a good ball from Evans into Sam Burden. Sam Burden had the shot, but it just went wide up the far post, but Longford perhaps that was set into the game after a nervous opening for a few minutes. And uh, Longford in possession again now, Manly back to Stacey and Joe Atlone, the charge just down the end, but he's had a really shaky start here. At least, at least Stacey, another poor hook from him, and it's straight to Manning, the danger man, the one man you don't want to give possession away to. And here's Taylor Dogan again, he's looking good out there at the moment, I'm no good dog man from the United States. And here's uh, Taylor is looking forward for Atlone, he goes back, and then goes back into the green half. Mark Moran with a touch there. And uh, again, Manning here on his halfway line, he's absolutely everywhere. Very hard to make it there with that outfit, see, the centre half so won't want to go that far up the pitch with him. He looked like Jordan has tracked him that time. From Joe Manley, and that looks a harsh decision there from referee Owen O'Shea. I think he's a judge, maybe a push on the back on Joe Manley, but Manley needs to be more commanding in the air for me. Just like saying there, the interesting thing there actually has the CDA dropping back very deep there. Yeah, I don't know his confidence uh, any good at all. But, uh, just a little sloppy, the right people know some of the passes going back to him at the moment. And uh, I think Joe Manley seen that because he's decided to send a, a direct one up the field and, and Longford get the second ball. It's back to Manley now, Joe Manley. And he can still hands. He looks for Ill Durban, who's going to be for possession tonight. Oh, boy. Longford's going to be difficult for all at the moment. So we've seen this in the first half against UCD, where they were struggling to, uh, to make any inroads up the pitch. Yeah, I don't think he got the laces through that one at all. Uh, Manu, that's what you want to 
knocking down the money, but I think he's that close in uh, now he's more than maybe seven or eight yards out. He's expecting a real thunder so that can happen. He probably tensed up a little bit and then with the dribble down under him, he's unable to get down, doesn't get his hands on it and it's gone in. Perhaps a, yeah, perhaps a little bit, but um, they don't count, as you said. That's his sixth of the season. He's on for the top score so far. So, uh, yeah, definitely the same thing. Sixth goal of the season for Rob Manley, and that helped through his confidence to the world. He only had one goal early on the season. It was in the opening game against Shamrock Rovers 2. Rob Manley, according to me, his sixth goal of the season for the Red Black, playing 
the uh, yellow strip tonight. And uh, Sam Burden with the function back to there as well. So Manning gets stuck in now as well. He's got two players around him, but he does well to get away. And that's a good ball up towards George. Good touch from George. And he shoots a shoot. So he's going to turn back to Manning. But that's the wind over the round. himself out of here, he can some bit of skill and indeed he does great play from Dean Byrne. Really tenacious tackling out there from both teams at the moment and that lone win possession back and again there's just a lack of options going forward for that lone at times and that's well read out by Joe Manley. He finds Adam Evans, good touch from Evans and he's by his man here isn't he? Oh, unfortunately just runs away for a throw. <laughs> Oh, obviously coming into uh, that game off the back of two defeats, two defeats including to that loan who won the last two. And um, that winning back to back games for the first time, we believe, around the first division for over a year at this game point. Hands beaten in the air, but I think the flag was already up for offside. That was fortunate because caught on his heels there a little bit. He shot, probably should have been anticipating that ball and, and getting to it first probably, but he was beaten in the air, but luckily the flag was already up for offside. Yeah, there's no real, uh, yeah, there's no real interdiction play uh, as such to speak about, but uh, if they're going to play that direct game, I think they need to get more bodies up there around Dean George. Uh, I know we mentioned Manning is drifting all over the pitch to try and be a playmaker, but maybe he needs to be a little bit less, uh, a little bit more selfish and, and try and occupy himself higher up the pitch, but long ball four from Longford. Usually they go short from that situation, but they went a bit more direct this time. It's McDonald in possession now, just inside his own half. He's got made down, but he can go for a little dink ball out to the right there. Good run by Albert there. Yeah, he's going to be a I don't think that loaner really offered much of a threat at the moment going forward. Uh, Ford needs to get back in here but he's left his man free and he does eventually get round to me. Uh, I go and try to pick the spot there that Elroy had left free but a good clearance from Mike McDonald. Uh, I think when that loan play that little bit quicker, Longford are probably more likely to make a mistake. I think Longford needs to be set up and keep possession. Whether that's in the wrong half or not, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, or an individual mistake. Okay, I 
still in hand. Having a good game so far. He cleared that ball. Here's Baran, who's been busy flat loan, but Joe Manley, that's meat and drink to him. Zambra takes it down. Not his best pass there. Manley does well. Rob Manley to keep it in. There's a look towards Adam Evans to force the Adam defender to go back to the goalkeeper. Miles, Miles looking for options now. Just slowing down the play. And it's going to go the direct group here. serious business here on the Derby. Longford with a good move down this right hand side. Shane Elworthy has options. Little dink cross in towards Manley. He definitely got his helmet on but unfortunately he was just on the stretch and uh, that move breaks down and the, the large Longford fans, uh, the attendants here tonight, they get behind their team. They like that move. Probably <laughs> 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 so over to have a good job there. Yeah, and we didn't see that a lot early on in the season, but uh, the second half against UCD, he was absolutely phenomenal down the right. Got a goal as well, nipped in at the back post with a clever finish, and that was a good cross from Shane Elworthy there, as he broke away down the right hand side, and unfortunately for Rob Manning, he was just slightly hey, on the stretch. Boy, you stop, you but, uh, he did put his head on it, but it was not going to happen that long goal. And again, an aim was from that long, but he probably picked a moment to get back to play that direct pass. Sam Burton from just inside of his own half. Yeah, so I'm going to a six yard box. I wouldn't say he was an awful long way off the line, but Burton had the confidence to try it, and that could have gone in on a different bit. One, two, three. Really it took us so long to find out how to get the best out of Manly. Great to see him scoring regularly again. Could be huge going into the playoffs. Burton makes such a big difference. Where was Evans all season? But in fairness to Evans, he hasn't played this position all season and um, he was more of a, a winger but he's playing as, as a wing back and well, that wouldn't be his natural game he seems to have made that position his own so I have to give credit to Evans and he's he been entirely defensive work as well as breaking forward yeah it was a huge huge problem there yeah. of course Andrew Wesley in the past is always going to be an issue but Longford really struggled to Evans doing well out there at the moment. And uh, Alan Wiles with the ball inside his own penalty area. And sends it up towards Jack Reynolds, but he's picked in the air. And Dean Byron looks in there. But uh, unfortunately, Manning is there to loop in for that low and regain possession. And there's a bit of space now for Jack Reynolds to work with. But he's forced back with a long from midfield. There's Manning. Referee had to jump out of the way of that one. Taylor Dolan as well. He's quite physical, Dolan, I have to say. He's quite tall. He's using that physical advantage well out there. And he's moving the ball well as well. He's caught the eye of the former college player in the States. Seems to be a good one. Again, Manly fans again behind me. This time the flag is up. But that time the ball came out. The only one was running the green grass. The green extra cup for running to. And uh, if Longford gets the pace, and he has the pace, it just has to be the right ball. Time to, uh, time to run right uh, and he'll be in again. Jack Reynolds tries to use his left foot to step around. Uh, no worries for Longford, they have possession. They draw the back to McDonald. McDonald with a really clever switch out to Adam Evans, and Evans does well there to get across and find Dean Byrne. Evans now to Zamba. Zamba swoops it out to. Manley, who's in the right fullback position at the moment. Dean Byrne here looking for a little ball over the top towards Sam Byrne, but that's well cut out by the Atmore defence. Elworthy gets in there, really good play. What will Elworthy do now? He'll go wide to Sam Byrne. Byrne goes back to Hay Durban. He's got options ahead of him, but he goes across to the captain, Dean Zambra. Zambra with a couple of touches, and that opens up space up on the right for Elworthy. Elworthy cuts inside there, Zambra, and Elworthy unfortunately just lost his foot at the wrong time. And that run out for a goal kick for that run.
so far, overall. Yeah. 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 Long really need to try and get more bodies up around there than the yeah. yeah. You can see what they're trying to do. They're trying to bypass the field there. Um, and uh, Sam is sitting there. So, uh, quick ball from the area. Uh, and he's Jack Reynolds. And he's going to throw it. Early to say we call it, but we call it. Free <laughs> kick, a little bit soft. It was a throw around the front of us. A couple of Lancashire players put pressure on the at long ball carrier there. I think the referee has indeed awarded a free kick. Long for Tom cameraman James Donnelly next to us here. Not happy with that decision. Doing a great job though with the stream of the home game. James Donnelly. Gary Riley, the LCFC Plus, unfortunately not uh, a service we can avail of tonight, but I hope you're enjoying the live commentary as Manning whips that free kick in. It's a good ball for Manning, it's big on! And it's hit the crossbar. That was an excellent delivery from Manning. Yeah. 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 Little back header, little fan header, and it hits the crossbar. Lovely flat ball, yeah. There was no chance for Longford to put that one out. It was uh, straight to, to the target, who was pure Brogan. Good header from Brogan. Hits the crossbar at the most best moment, yeah, the best moment of the game so far. Sam Bird now uses his uh, head to knock that one on. And the man who just hit the crossbar a couple of months ago, Brogan sends it a long one up to Stacey. Stacey goes down the back of his leg. Stacey plays out with Jim Hand, who's down on his feet to the right hand side. That's the good thing about the three at the back. He does give the center half a chance to spread. And, Make themselves available for them short kick outs and McDonald finds Burton who finds Durham. Yeah, they had that little spell of sort of settling things down after the goal, but um, you don't want to probably sit with a one on the lead too much because uh, that's what can happen if set piece can catch you out. Of course, he always does seem to find that um, second part. Yeah. That's, that's probably something I'm sure could describe him as a rock. Otherwise, uh, he's not on the ball or how to find the net. He's, he's just a brilliant uh, centre forward. He just leads that line so well for long. We're very, very lucky to have him. I know, I know, but I'm just I'm trying to find maybe a, a more fitting description of him. <laughs> to Lizzie Woolen here now and ball up the, line, up the line towards Manley but stick that flick and it'll be a long for throwing. I'm probably going to butcher his name, is this a little bit? Timelo, is it? No, Timelo. Timelo. He's not afraid of getting forward here, he has the pace to track back. He's doing a lot of pressure there at that side. Yeah, he's a little bit of a... And the end is from forward and he's left a gap here and Adam Evans almost exploded that gap. The shot blocked down and again going to block that cross there and uh, stop the leg. But uh, the youngster there, but he's just showing a little bit of inexperience. Coming here for Longford now, about 10 yards out of the corner flag. Nippy Knight here at Lizzie that has to be said. So, play to be three starters with the throw in here. Here's Dean Byrne now. He goes back to Mick McDonald. He goes now up and assesses options and he finds Dave Durbin. Durbin goes wide to Elworthy. He's slowly creeping forward into that new territory. More as the half goes on. Not happy to go back with possession here. McDonald looking for that spread ball again. That is a wonderful pass from McDonald. 
decent touch from Adam Evans, but uh, just not tight enough that touch. And that ball managed to come away with possession, but Mick McDonald's showing his ability to play a bit of a spread pass.
Not this time, because the move breaks down. Jesus. Yeah, that stick has actually landed on the pitch. That was quite dangerous. I was going to take it up on the back pitch there. I'm moving on those people. That's a dangerous situation. I think the fourth official spot of that as well. Where the guard even be? Anyway, play continues here. Everyone's alright. Looking at the fans back too. Evans plays it into Queen Zambra. Plays it to A. Derma. Slowing things down, hitting the foot of the ball, hitting the corner into Zambra. I love the fans looking for the ball. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the key for him. He's going to mix it up. And uh, here's Manley stepping in. He's done well. He's been one, two, three. And he's eventually tackled on the edge of the box. Good uh, tackle there from, from Delaney. And, uh, that was uh, some great play from, from Joe Manley. And uh, he just needs to get back in. But Bamford have three at the back of the moment. Elwood tops in to make up a centre half. So they're okay. We've got A. Durbin just sitting in that defensive midfield slot. Ian Zambra's in behind him. So Bamford regathered their shape very quickly. That's a uh, good organisation. Give it, give it, give it. Go on. Lampard had a lot of space to work with. There is opportunities on the counter attack there, and the referee is actually going to remove that, um, that bit of a firework. Then. Fair play to the steward, they're actually gone out on the pitch to, to make sure the culprits are removed from the area because that could have been a, a nasty situation. But uh, anyway, play resumes. Elwood, four cross from him, it's blocked down and had no one with a chance to clear, but they've taken their time about getting rid of that one. David Brooks, the culprit, but he does well to recover and he's actually fouled by Elwood in the end. Brooks took his chances though, he uh, had an opportunity to clear up the field, but he cut back inside on his left foot and weaker foot. Him. He had to, to switch around to the far side, but for him, he was very well. The shop opened for last time for the tea, coffee, soup. The snack. <laughs> yeah, so if anyone wants a tea, coffee, or soup, just uh, leave us a message here. We'll, we'll send one in the post. So, uh, Miles gets played back on the way. We're starting to look. A man in the middle of the air. I'm very glad to see after losing that is true. But I, I did mention on commentary they were quite an LTFC plus. He probably is, uh, he's only been in the league uh, two and a half years or so, but he's already one of the more experienced sorts in that Longford defence. Throwing <laughs> Tatlone over the far side, commonly to take. Two minutes of action left here. Spinner Dogan again using his strength, his physical presence really well to hold off Dean Zamber there. Dogan. Went to back heel that one, but instead sends it up the line. And that was good play there again on the far side from Adam Lennon. The two wingers for Adlone, Lennon and uh, Reynolds, that have shown a few little tricks in the locker room. They just need to keep a tight like shackle on them. Adlone deep in the wall with the ball. Here's a chance for Brooks to whip one in. That's not a bad ball. Two Adlone players up with the back post, and one of them was Adam Lennon. Longford did leave two at the back though. That was um, the first time we've really seen that get numbers into the area. And if that was a better cross, they could have been in business there. Yeah, so we should be coming into the halftime break in the next couple of moments. From a Longford point of view, would you like to just see them offer a little bit more going forward in the second half and put this game to bed? <laughs> Look at that though, you have to focus on your own thing, have you? It's uh, Lennon in possession here on the halfway line, he's uh, kept company by Rob Manley doing some selfish, uh, unselfish defensive work. Verdon, good header from Verdon, he was looking for a Rob Manley, but again, not for the first time tonight, Scott Delaney is there to put out the danger, he's been good for that at the back, he'll be disappointed with the goal they get away though, here's uh, Jeff Reynolds, he comes to Brooks, he goes inside now to Moran, Moran plays it across to Taylor Dogan, Tom 
Bilbao cuts inside. Not a bad pace about him. He's beaten a couple of Lampard players and he tries to find uh, Timber Dolan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, plenty of encouragement there from his boss, Adrian Carberry. He was uh, happy to see the player show the confidence to take on a run there and try and find that little intricate ball. So, getting plenty of encouragement from his boss. And um, as we said, the more minutes he plays in the first division, week in, week out for that long. So, a minute added on, Longford one up, thanks to a goal from Rob Manley. As we mentioned, uh, Delaney and uh, Cole at the bank will be disappointed with the manner of the goal. They were caught out in behind. Manley raced away and not the cleanest of strikes, it snuck in under Aaron Miles though, again the keeper, he, he looked on to do better with that one, but yeah, it's 1-0 on the scoreboard, that's all that matters from Longford, and they'll be pleased with that if they go in at the break with that goal, and Joe Manley steps forward now and gives possession away unfortunately, he just needs to get to back in, but the minute uh, the ball is lost there, Edwardy dropping in, Longford do look, they really look to have got to grips with this new system. Now. Going off the ground, we're the fans. Looking forward to the half time cup, I have to say, a full night here in Athlone. The whistle should be going in the next couple of moments. And uh, there it is, half time whistle from all our shade. Half on the way, they lose. Very good to him. Baron just going to restart play. It's uh, Dean Zambra. It's going to restart play. The second half is on the way, and Dylan Han sends the ball <coughs> towards Delaney, who cleverly takes that back to his goalkeeper. Spell of possession here at the start of the second half for that loan, and that's about a daisy cover to run through to Grace Arden, who looks forward for Sam Arden. With a bit more purpose going forward in the second half. They were a bit conservative at times in that first half after that early goal. They were happy just to keep possession without um, any real purpose to it. Darryl really wanted a bit more from his team here at the start of the second half. If you get an early second half goal, you can kill this one off. We've seen an awful lot of him in the first half, but a few early touches from here, and he finds Ed Darwin, who was. Probably the best player on the pitch in that first half, and he got the assist for the goal. With Joe Manley, who really stood out as well. Thank to Ray Derwin. Well, I think a lot of fans will agree he's probably not been as good as he was last season, but again, that went down to the system. I think a lot of people will agree what he says. That can point his feet now in this new nation's team from his possession away to Manning. Only Dean George ahead of him. He's got um, Chat Reynolds making a run down the right. It's a good ball, it's a teasing ball, and Joe Manley in the right place to clear that one away. In fact, he can Gets it back to Lee Stacey, good clear from Lee Stacey. A couple of shaky moments in the first half, that didn't look better, but he's through it. And uh, Longford break forward now, clever ball from Burn, good touch from Dean Burn, he's inside the box, but he had to cut back outside, and that gave Tomalu the chance just to get the foot in. And that won't come away with possession through Taylor Dolgan. And here's Manning, two options for Manning. He goes up the line towards Reynolds, good interception, just playing half of the from Dylan Hand. Or is it the captain? No, it's not the captain being Zambra. Uh, it must be Adam Adams, yeah. I didn't actually see what happened. It was off the ball there. It's a bit, it's a bit early on to say that. Maybe really you're playing on an artificial pitch might help them either. One is not listed on the team sheet. Aaron McNally. Uh, sorry, it is with some. Uh, Aaron McNally's going to come on for uh, Evans here. So Evans is uh, holding his ground there. So that's an injury. Yeah. 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 Touch on it. It's a very nippy night here in Lizzie Wall, and maybe that's just a muscle strain for uh, Evans and the Spitz. He said, Hopefully, it's the count for me. Good ball into the feet of Dean George, and he does well to get it out to Brooks. Good ball from Brooks, and Manning went for the overhead kick. It's still in the box here. 
Lone still have a chance of making something of this. That's a shot there from Lennon, and it's tipped over the power of these faces. Yeah, the overhead kick for the attempt from Manning. It seems to just throw a bit of confusion into the mix, and that Lone almost capitalised off that. The shot from Lennon, and it was tipped over by Stacey. That Lone with the corner now, over on this stand side. It's taken by David Brooks. He's got a man offering the short option, but I'm surprised that he doesn't put this into the mix because he's got some big target men there, the likes of Rogan. That's another good ball from Brooks, well defended by Longford. Longford have got three men on the break, it's three against two. If they pick the right pass here, they put me in business. Oh, a little bit cold, but given the benefit of the doubt, he didn't pick the pass at the right time. Yeah. Good exciting start to the second half though, uh, that's what the uh, kind of thing from Stomp it in, it was a free kick, the outside, uh, he was taking the restart there, and then he was dumping straight out for a throw in, and Stomp it allowed a chance to hit the back of the way with a throw in, fourth official gets another ball in. Yeah, I think they've shown a bit more positive vibes going forward this Saturday. one in towards them and has them broken the offside trap I thought he had for a moment but the flag goes up for offside but really positive sign to Matt Lohan at the start of this second half. Chipped back in by Manning over the top of the longer back four towards Lennon, but Lennon just behind the run correctly. He was offside, but um, a good move from that loan. Verdon anyway, wins the head over there. There's Baran to mop up the loose ball. Still winning a lot of second balls at the moment. The manager will be pleased with that. And here's Taylor Dogan again dropping into that centre half position, almost playing like a quarterback at times. And uh, he spreads a great ball out to Lennon, but Joe Manley again uses his uh, defensive knowledge really well there. Comes away with the ball. On the ball as well, Manley. He's not just going to the defensive side of things. Hey, Durban, a little bit too long to make his mind up with that pass. And again, it's Taylor Durban with a good tackle. And that won't come away with the ball. There will a lot of uh, 50 50s at the moment here at Lone. They'll be encouraged by that. There's a good spread ball out to their fullback, Brooks. And that Lone with a lot of players up the field here. Slightly behind his man, and the move eventually broke down. Yeah, that's a good ball. Rock Manley to Sam Burton. Burton racing in towards the box. And Burton there, he's a little bit selfish. He only had a couple of options. Dean Burton probably the best option with the box to try and square it to the box. He goes for the shot. It's up for <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, at Lone, the sign 
that our confidence here as uh, it's going in the second half is the fifth action, fifth and short, and so uh, the enemy then sends it along up the field. And uh, that's good. Hold up play there from Dean George. He was slightly quiet in the first half, but he's got away here from Dylan Hand. George races in towards the area, but Joe Manley not for the first time tonight. He has got his own for team at the back. He drops the cross and it's out for a corner, but really good play from George. No, definitely have not come out for the start of the second half. Yeah, you would have liked to see him too. And, uh, it's very broke. He's put in some good balls already, but he hasn't. Whips it in, it's towards the back post. Lee Stacey does well this time, good command and punch from Stacey. It comes out towards Jack Reynolds. He finds Mark Baran. Baran spreads it all the way back to the man that took the corner, but good defensive header there from Dylan Han. Here's Steve Byrne in the direction now, inside his own half. Clever ball outside of the foot to Dean Zambra. Zambra up to the Durban, not for breaking forward in numbers here, but the pass from Durban is over his. And Sam Burden it breaks away from his foot. Second or third time in this game now, probably second time early on in the second half, we're going for the Hads. Numbers breaking forward, and looks like a, a promising counter attack, but just uh, breaking down. Yeah, yeah. Adam Evans has re emerged here down in front of us, he's uh, holding an ice pack, so hopefully uh, it's not too serious. He's limping quite badly at the moment, so fingers crossed for him. from him and his pace very fair at this time because he's passing the A next in. Good ball from Dean Byrne to Rob Manley though. Manley just held on to that ball a second longer. He might have been in business. I think Paul Green carrying a knock for that ball. He, uh, he looks in trouble out there at the moment and he actually lost his foot in there and Manley decided to play the pass and the pass was, the pass was cut out. Making the most of uh, a promising opportunity, and there's a bit of space for that loan here now. But a good tackle from Dean Brown. Logan is actually struggling off that foot, he's a good two or three yards off the pace. Uh, this could be a chance for Manley to run at him. Manley squares up Grogan, but Grogan, despite that knock, was really able to get a tackle in. But I think he's going to force him to a chance there. I've mentioned uh, Wexford, they've conceded a lot of late goals this season, so that's going to make the second half slightly nervy for them. It's a corner though to Longford, Manly won the corner, it'll be the captain Zambra to whip it in, and it's out towards the penalty spot. Uh, Verdon got the head on it, it almost came to that early, but it's cleared away, and it's uh, cleared away by Atlone. Throwing that possession, now referee got in the way, but uh, George does well to come away with possession for Atlone. He's got two men over, it's actually Manning in possession, he goes over to Baran. Uh, at long breaking forward, Longford seems to have plenty of numbers back though. Can they snuff out the danger here? They've got Tomalu over the far side and he gathers possession. And he goes to, Jack, uh, to Adam Lennon who back heals it and uh, that bit of skill didn't pay off. And Longford could have broke away. Ooh, could have broke away but... Very starts and Dean Brown sends a bit of a wave with one over there. Tonight. I think what they were looking for, it, it was straight to Burton, he got his head on, I think so. Yeah, too far away from Dylan Hamble, I don't know the danger well, uh, Longford did do that quite well against UCD, they were scoring their, their set pieces on second and third phase balls, so. They're showing dominance, but they're definitely creeping into the game, and it's, it's not been comfortable for Longford. And here's a man I, I thought we would see tonight. Uh, it's going to be Lee Duffy coming off the bench as that loan sends it a flat free kick forward, but it's easily headed away. It didn't beat the first man. But that loan are high up in the Longford half here, and they'll have a chance to whip it in. Brooks takes a clever little touch around Dean Byrne and takes it towards the back post where Taylor Dogan and Adam Le Lennon are on the advance, and that loan win a corner. <laughs> Ron Manley was the only player in the, in the half of 
punch and tackle there, and he wins possession. Rob Manley, who did so well to win that corner, and almost resulted in Longford second. Again, Longford going back, but he's now down just the same ball. Maybe stay a little bit higher up in that loan territory. Yeah, well, certainly competitive. There's been some absolute hammerings in this area in recent years. Five, six, and they've been a seven one. But no sign of that tonight. Loose pass back to Moyers. He left the sort of speed out quickly. And he's done really well to shift the ball out to his full back. Here's Pierre Morgan. He's pressured by Burn. He goes back to his full back who clears it up the field safely. But Dylan Hand will be first to that. And Hand plays it up towards Rob Manley who's broken the offside trap. Shot by Manley. But that is blocked really well by Delaney. And it's into the hands of Aaron Moyers for a comfortable save. Wins possession with a punch and tackle. A two former under 19 team hits there square off. And it was a short pull by Tomalu, and there's a few words exchanging. Good battle there, though. Youngsters to the fore in this game. I'm sure they'll shake hands at the end of it. You know hard feelings. But a uh, free kick for Longford in a dangerous area. Leans Amber some decent deliveries already tonight. He's, uh, five or six yards off the touchline. It's uh, out towards Verdon again, he's the target man for Longford at the moment and Verdon flicks it on, but Dean George is there, he's an attacking player for Adlon, he's doing the defensive stuff at the moment and he sends him up the field, but uh, Tinoli in particular leads up here, just pressurised the, the ball here, he goes back to Lee Stacey, and Lee Stacey with a good thump up the pitch towards Joe Manley who flicks that on really well to Sam Verdon, Verdon to Ray Durden, Longford has got bodies up the field here but Durden's pass not accurate enough. Joe Manley, he had uh, Lee Stacey on it, uh, Lee Duffy on his shoulder, but he just took it down and made a nice pass to his fellow side on that still in hand. Turns the ball on and it's with Lee Manley now and he takes on Tamalier. Tamalier has blocked the ball from the ball since he's had a little hand to lock it. First shot over the game. First yellow of the game. I think it's probably more an accumulation of fouls, but uh, again. Yeah, he's definitely uh, been high up on the list. Uh, free kick for Longford, Zambra, with a floaty one again. Joe Manley beaten in the air by Grogan. Nally does well as a nip in and he gets a shot away from Nally. People was rooted to the spot but it goes right to the far post but Nally popping up everywhere off the bench. That's been something that's uh, really worked for Darryl Oyl's advantage in recent games. He, he substitutes, we mentioned it in the first half, Carl Chambers, how good he was last week. Of course McCabe has been the most famous incident off the bench in recent times and uh, with Nally making an impact here now as well. So possession now, high up in Longford territory, good pass from Dean George, but Dylan Hand does well, but who's touching Hand in the end, and George throws the ball into Lee Duffy, that's Duffy's first touch of the game, Taylor Golden now inside the area, he's tackled by Manley, Manley releases it to Dean Byrne, can Byrne keep it in, indeed he can, Dean Byrne takes a couple of touches, he's looking for options, oh he turns, and he beats Tomalu really well, but Tomalu is sticking with him, but a good ball from Byrne, Rob Manley charging in on goal for Longford, he has to go across the the box and he finds Zambra back to Manley. Looks for Zambra again. Good interception, but it's still with Rob Manley. Maybe his jersey was pulled there, but referee says play on. A Darwin, clever ball to McNally. McNally's first touch is a little bit loose, but he gets a shot away on goal. It's clear off the line by Delaney. Here's Dean Byrne. Dean Byrne cuts outside. He's in the area. Of Shakira gave up on the Twitter, from Dino inside the penalty area. He's tackled by Tommy. It's a penalty to Alfred Town. Absolutely trolls the hips there once again. Penalty to Longford, and it's going to be Sam Garden to take it. 
And uh, I spoke to Sam uh, to Rob Manley after the last game, and we spoke about the little battle him and Verdon are having in terms of the golden boot for Longford. Six for Manley this season, it'll be six for Verdon. He stands over this penalty kick at Lizzie Wallen. And it's Don't say that even it's uh just on that corner didn't know who actually three one off the games kind of team. Results are really going long for today tonight and they're doing their own part here, tuning up now in the derby. You've got to feel a little bit sorry there for, for Tom Malou. He's had a really good game, but he's just been uh, done by an absolutely phenomenal bit of skill over the game. He's had a good game, Sam. That is uh, six apiece now with the gold chart. Sam Burden and Rob Manley. Will they, will they get another one here before the end? 20 minutes or so to play. It's at Lone Town, nil, Longford Town 2. Longford in the ascendancy here in the Derby. They've uh, won. They're unbeaten the last 16 against Atlow. It looks like that run's going to continue to second them as things stand. But good to see uh, Connolly getting on the ball there for Atlow. Um, that, that penalty giveaway hasn't knocked his confidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. High fives for all his coaching staff there. That's a really good play there from Mick McDonald. Raced across to keep that ball in play. Uh, we we'll keep it out, keep, put it out for a throw. But he saves the corner. Uh, more for Longford to do at the back now. Is that going to start playing the throw? And it's out to Baran, who whips it in. It's over here, and that's a meet and drink for Lee Stacey. Lee Stacey looks to spark a quick counter attack, and Dee Dee will keep the ball, keep the pressure. Yeah, good ball from McNally, who's been absolutely brilliant off the bench. And McNally is From, from George. He's done some good defensive work and I like, track him back up. George's pace on that left hand side. He's played really, really high up though in the second half, hasn't he? We haven't seen him really do any defensive work. He's an out and out left winger and uh, he's reaping the benefits of that because he's doing his pace really well. Um, played a big role in that second goal as well in the build up. Zambra looking for Burden again at the back post. Burden in the air this time. Will Atwell get the ball clear? Baran gets his head on it and clears it away. Oh, Durban will collect it on the halfway line. And Durban with a good pass, but Dean Baran couldn't just trap that one. And Atwell will come away with the ball through Baran. He goes back to his fullback who launches the ball up the line. Lee Duffy hasn't had a sniff yet. He's going to get his second touch of the game here. His third touch, his fourth touch, his fifth touch, his sixth touch, and his pass to. Manny, Manny has a full back outside him, that's Brooks. Brooks though is halted by Elworthy. It's back to Manning, finds Duffy, and Duffy tries a little trick there to get away from his man, tries a back heel, but it's cut out by Dylan Hand, and Dylan Hand gets the ball to Dean Zambra. Zambra now to Burden, it's 2v2 at the back. Burden in possession, he's got Rob Manley inside. But he's uh, checked back here and he finds Elworthy. Elworthy to McDonald. Absolutely massive yeah. result for Wexford and uh, Fabatini all not right there seeing the ball. Loose back pass and it's collected by Duffy who's fouled but the referee waves advantage and Manning uh, <laughs> to the benefit and Longford eventually come back with possession now through Rob Manley who holds on to it and goes back now to Mitch McDonald but Longford looking comfortable here in the derby at the moment. <laughs> Joe Manley into A. Dervin. A. Dervin spins away from Taylor Dogan and Longford just moving the ball about here. Really frustrating at blow at the moment. McNally offers himself here. He's glued out to this left hand touch line. But it goes to the right hand side. Sam Verdon's touch not the best there. Sorry, I'm touching Rob Manley with the loose touch. And uh, Atlow again launch a long ball and Nick McDonald just throw it out. And uh, this is a chance for Atlow to get in behind the Longford back four. Good co covering from Elworthy. He does enough just to put a challenge on that cross and no man will get again with a crucial interception. No one's just been a look at the player. If you've got the ball in the top of the 
Wolf is big. Steve Dyer has got McNally outside. He picks the pass to McNally. McNally, good positive first touch. Drives it in the goal. That's a big save from Aaron Myers. Here's Sam Burr, uh, Steve, uh, Manley. So much happening here. Izzy Ullin has oh. got Manley. It goes back to Elworthy. Really good cross from Elworthy. That's headed away by King George. But that was a good save there from Aaron Myers. You feel that one on a cold night for him. Uh, Duffy does well to take that ball down, and he's looking for Jack Reynolds on the right hand side. Nick McDonald knocks it back to Lee Stacey. Stacey with a pass to Joe Manley. Manley out to McNally, who's causing so much problem for that ball off the bench. Good ball again for McNally. Zambra, there's a late check there on Dean Zambra, and uh, yeah, the frustration. It's going to be a straight red card for Lee Duffy. I didn't expect the red card to be this for a moment, but I thought he might get a yellow card. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Seriously, I'm hot! Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. That's really much the game here. Someone should tell me here, that's a, that's a spur red card there. Uh, I'll have to check that myself. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just see will that change the, uh, the thinking of the manager, but uh, Adrian Carby would attack on the back there for the Duffy as he goes down the bench. So obviously his manager feels that he's uh, actually actually done by the referee, but he definitely did have a flick out, but I was never expecting <laughs> Jimmy to get by Timalu, and it's an own goal. Dean with the cross and it's headed into the net by Scott Delaney. A horrible moment for him, but again, Dean Byrne with that little flick of magic, he's and it's really meant to it in the El Classico. Doesn't matter how many times I've done it, it's been a good reaction. Just a good reaction. Just a good reaction. Just a the Lampard players over to give a little tap on the head to Dean Byrne because as we said it's a very very testing time for him the goal as he's known in these packs Carl Chambers is going to get a run up and uh, he had a, a brilliant impact off the bench on Monday night but now he's done his part off the bench here tonight he's got a dream of going to have an impact in the uh, final few minutes that remain but the Lampard fans are on their feet here they're getting behind their team they're delighted with the, uh, the scoreline here 3-0 to Lampard in the derby Carl Chambers about to enter into battle here and he will replace Dean Byrne who get a standing ovation. Chambers with his first impact, a lovely spin from Chamber, and he finds a Durban, and 
the, every Longford player is begging for possession. They all want a touch, you know. Confidence is flowing. It's in towards Manley who gets his head on it, but it's saved by Aaron Miles. But Longford are throwing bodies forward. They've got the extra man now. They see how well, Longford forward are continuing that impressive. They could uh, add to it here, though. Probably too far gone in the season to be looking to draw back the, the goal difference to the likes of the draw chart. Then he's going to work and lose a little bit of the field into the playoffs. Just get you in there, but at the moment, Longford are looking good for a playoff place and he likes to have such ambition as well. What's happening elsewhere in the division, Ethan? Well, the ground, the Rotterdam still won the look against Bray Wanderers. Wexford 4 1 against Chandler Hughes. Cold Rambler still won the game against Galway in the way. It's the Galway and momentum about it. Yeah. Yeah, Longford will be four points off the top, I think, might say, if their results stay the way they are. Give me a rundown of the two matches, chance here. And again, it's uh, Gillen Hand there ahead of all. Brilliant defender from the youngster. That loan will look to recycle possession now, going with Baran to Brooks. Back to Baran. He's got a runner in ahead of him. That is. Oh, the move this way. They might be partying tonight, but... Have you seen that anywhere? A special there, is it? It's like the plug here on, on the line. There's a pause in this game, Carol. You'll not be doing full horse or full commentary again, I'll tell you that, Ethan. But, uh, <coughs> Come on, it's out. Going for cruising towards a big three points here. And uh, Cam Chamber steps over that free kick. And Ed Irvin with a short one to Zandra. Long for trying to work something clever here. And McNally might pick it up at the back post, and Dean does, and he looks for Cam Chambers. Chambers launches it against McNally, but Chambers comes away with possession. He's really hungry off the bench, Chambers. Uh, there's Joe Manley, good ball, there's a chance for Longford to create something here. Clever ball from Derby to McNally, can he get the shot away? Good tackle there from Tom and Logan. Yeah, Five substitute through. This game is definitely in the bag. You might as well give a couple of lads a rest. Really, really yeah, the baby faced assassin is he on the bench? Indeed, he is. He might get a run out. Aaron McCabe, we look to add to his tally of three goals this season two against Wexford, one against Galway. Zambra takes one up the line towards Rob Manley. Maybe he might get a little rest in. He plays every minute of every game. Callum Warfield on the bench tonight. And I can see Matthew O'Brien getting stripped down in front of us. And is that the baby face assassin? Indeed it is. We're going to see a double change in the next few minutes. And it's going to be two very young players. I've caught the eye off the bench this season for Longford. Matthew O'Brien and uh, Aaron McKay. But we'll be surprised if we see uh, Ed Irving get a rest maybe for O'Brien. Be interesting to see who comes off from McKay. All of that's going down on the touchline, going for that possession just inside the one half here with Ed Durbin. Is that going to be one of his last touches of the night? We'll soon find out when the board goes up, goes up. but good ball into Garden. He turns and he shoots him all. It's 35 yards out. It's a lot of selfish there from Garden. It's out one of them. Oh, it's going to be a triple substitution and it's going to be a host of youngsters. It is Ed Durbin's last touch of the night. He'll get a standing ovation. The local man goes off for Longford. Yeah, he's been brilliant tonight, Durham. Probably his best performance of the season. Uh, Aaron McKay. 
Big embrace there for Ray Durbin from Dara Doyle. And uh, off comes Sam Burr. He's been very good in the air tonight again, Christian. He's just been a bit of a look-up. And uh, Matthew O'Brien. Finally, going to get a rest this season. Indeed, he is off from Rob Manley. He got the opening goal of the game. And Rob Manley replaced by Callum Murphy. Yeah, he's a big physical presence up there, and uh, it'd be great if he could get his first senior goal in the League of Ireland football. They're all playing around in their own penalty area here. He does, and he goes across to uh, Delaney. Tight for space, and that one eventually do give it away. Zamber, oh, he was looking for Warfield. Warfield won't get his first touch just yet, but in comes one of the substitutes, Matthew O'Brien. O'Brien tries to whip it in round the back. The ball breaks though to McCabe. McCabe's cross is blocked by Grogan. Out to Brooks, and Brooks with a good ball up to Reynolds. Reynolds has two long for players shackling him, but he does well to find a teammate. That loan having to work really hard to keep possession here, of course, they're a man right with that sending off for Lee Duffy. Here's Tamalu, who has been really good on the ball, but he's had a couple of unfortunate moments inside his own area. And there's a foul on Manny, and that'll be a free kick to our leg. <laughs> it's going to be 17 undefeated now in the Midlands El Clasico from Alpha Town. So they really, really have dominated. Magnus Devlin's trying to sing. It's just like watching Brazil up here. That goes on down from the far end of the stand. Yeah, he's got the, he's got the yellow kit on tonight, Town. And uh, a lovely ball there from McCain. Who's at the outside of his foot. A little short screen pass out to McNally. Jimmy's and Shammy's. And he goes back to Joe Manley. Joe Manley. That bit easier to come on in a, in a freedom situation when you've got that bit more, especially against 10 men, but more confidence, but more time on the ball. Yeah, they haven't taken long to bed into it yet. Kevin O'Connor is going to get an outing here for Athlone. Another young man, it's all about good and youth here at Athlone Town. We don't have the resources they had back in the Roddy Collins days. Evan O'Connor, of course, another man that was with Longford Town for a spell as a, an under 19 player. Well, that's a foul of one of the substitutes in the field. Good, good thinking there from Zambra. He finds Cal Chambers, he's got an alley run off him, but he turns inside and he finds Matthew O'Brien, who wants the ball at every opportunity, and he finds Callum Morphy. First touch from Morphy, who scored in a couple of the pre season friendlies just before the restart. Yes, indeed. And uh, O'Brien, quite physical as well for a young man. And he throws it out to Joe Manley, who loves it a little foray into the opposition half from time to time. Here's McNally, who uses his footwork to get by Tom Lewis into the area. He finds, oh, the big finish for Sasson Alan McCabe, and that was almost another goal in single football for the youngster. <laughs> And, uh, that's going to be all she wrote for Scott Delaney tonight. The, uh, the Atlanta Town captain is going to be replaced by young know, Evan O'Connor here. He's going to get three minutes of senior football. The corner for Longford, though, just to mention there, now he did break in behind. He played across a uh, field pass to uh, McCabe, who got a shot away, but it was blocked by the Atlanta Town defence. But it's resulted in a Longford corner, and it'll be taken once again by the captain, Dean Zambra. He floats it in towards the middle. Oh, and that was a chance for Warfield. Second ball, what way is that going to break? Break the way of an Atlanta defender, and it's taken them two or three attempts to get rid of it, but they eventually do. And is this a chance for Atlanta to break here with Manning? Little step over from Manning. He tries to play through the Reynolds, but uh, makes McDonald's yeah, use the experience to shift across. No mess in there, lots of them. Just, 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 just
we've, so, we've kind of said that throughout the season that they, they have shown signs. They aren't the worst known team we've seen over the last couple of years. This kind of situation is to build on. You wonder just how long they'll be able to keep that foundation together. I'm very surprised that guys man in it here next season. There's a couple of other players that have caught the eye tonight. And that long they really need to keep this group of youngsters together. Maybe get a bit of experience in there as well to help them along their way. And, uh, it's it's challenging times for that though, as we said there. Uh, Brilliant off the bench, and he beats two, three out of players. Where did you get the shot away? Good defender, but McNally again picks up the loose ball. Yeah, just a little bit overzealous there. But, uh, just looking down at Darrell Oyen here, and he's smiling, man, the way he's actually very pleased to see that from his player. Really positive on the ball, trying to beat a couple of bad old men. Yeah, showing the desire to win back. He wants to get his name on the score sheet, Carol. Super Saints 4, my nephew Evan O'Connor getting the start. Happy days, right? Good to see youngsters getting their chance and uh, we'll update in the next few minutes how he does. And uh, a man down injured here for Adlon. I'm not sure who he is, Carol. Fingers are absolutely frozen here, Dizzy. Well, very, very cold night, but uh, this result will warm the hearts of Malta Town fans. Just looking across there, it's unbelievable. How many Longford fans did you say? Nearly 50 here, perhaps? It's incredible. Yeah, it's amazing stuff, really. Probably the last chance they'll get this season to get to an away game, so at least they're going to be treated to a win. And, uh, hopefully, they'll have. Bigger attendance is back soon, but hurry in times. Keep safe, everyone out there. Watch the pause. Watch the pause. Wear a mask. And uh, yeah, this isn't nice to see you in that one guy going off injured here. I'm not sure who it is. Evan White going off uh, injured here for that loan, unfortunately. Hopefully, that's not too serious. If someone's tuning in from the Netherlands tonight, that's great to see you. That's what this uh, comedy service is all about. This, this is going to be, I can tell you, this is going to be a big talking point on next week's podcast. Cabin TV, all is not right there at the moment. 5-1 for Wexford and Very strange comments in the media midweek from, from their boss, Pat Devlin, the, uh, the Cabin TV boss. And we'll be touching on that on next week's show, so make sure you tune in for that. If you're not subscribed to our podcast, search for Between the Strikes and the podcast wherever you get your podcasts, and uh, you'll get the latest shows. And don't forget to check out that special with Roddy Collins. It's a one-hour sit-down with him. Trendy from the Netherlands here from what we're reading. We've just been in the tunnel here, and I'm going to just cross for him. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think I've rolled down to nine men here now. I think they may have used all their subs, and they obviously have Lee Dobby sent off. So. Uh, the Yellow players would be happy to, to see that board go up now and just get in the tunnel without conceding any more because Longford had another five or ten minutes here. It could get nasty for that loan. They're down to nine, they're three goals down. And uh, Longford are playing full of confidence now. And uh, the ball from McNally to Warfield and substitutes combining here. Warfield over in the corner flag. That's a good cross from Elworthy. Can somebody meet it? Oh, hesitation in the back line! And uh, the confidence has just been sucked out of Athlone Town here. It was a really good cross from the right hand side by Elmworthy, but nobody in the Athlone penalty area dealt with the ball. And uh, the goalkeeper, a bit of hesitation from him as well, and eventually breaks the way of Carl Chambers and he tucks it away for Longford's fourth of the night. First goal of the season for Carl Chambers. Well, that is all she wrote on Lizzie Woolen. Thank you.
have to ask uh, someone like Martin Staple, who has the stats for that, it'd be interesting to know how many times substitutes have not scored this season for London. It's definitely big, been a big trend in players. His confidence is gone now. He's kicked that ball straight to McCabe, who is absolutely bringing the confidence down there. He's throwing tricks galore. He's thrown another one past Timolu there. Another chance for Longford to get a shot away on goal here with Matthew O'Brien, and that's a save. Seen the board, yeah. The board has been up already. Yeah. It was three minutes after yeah, so the board. It can't be long enough now. I think we're into the third quarter. Yeah. 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 I think it just goes to show as well. I mean, Matthew O'Brien had a bit of experience when you do ship a couple of goals like yeah. quick in session. Yeah. Yeah. On the red card, yeah. happened. Yeah. 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 Red card, yeah. 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 Yeah.